Hello YouTube, XCT here. This video is about Knife, a 20 point machine on Hack the Box that involves a PHP backdoor and using sudo knife to become root. So as always, we started with a port scan and we can see that there's port 22, we have SSH and there's port 80. So let's have a look at this website. And here we got some kind of hospital website. You can't really click any of the links here, so it's kind of static. Let's look at the source. Uh, nothing interesting going on either. Um, we could fast the web route now, but um, if we look in burp here, there's one thing that sticks out a bit, and this is this um, X-powered by header, which is a bit unusual, and it tells us a specific PHP version, um, especially it's a development version, so it might be worth it to throw that into Google. And if you do that, you get a bunch of um, RCE hits here. This is actually a backdoor that was added to the PHP source, you can see a tweet by the Zerodium CEO, um, and actually here on um, PHP News we see um, a message from one of the PHP developers, um, which is acknowledging that two malicious commits were made to the repository, and they are investigating it. Um, they never made it to a, to a live version, right? It's just this development branch. And if we look in the GitHub source, we can actually see the exact commit. And basically what this is doing, it's looking for a header, which has HTTP user agent, but with two T's at the end. And then it's basically executing everything that comes after Zerodium as PHP code. So if we were to type Zerodium system uh, brackets and then some command, it would execute it. All right, that sounds interesting. Um, let's send it to the repeater and let's try to actually set that header. Um, Let's do it right under this user agent. So we saw there has to be another T. And then we have to have the string Zerodium. And now we can just do system curl. And then let's call out to our box, grab a file, pipe it into SH. Um, let's actually use Rash again to make a reverse shell here. And then let's start web server. Let's also start a listener. And let's execute that. You can see the hit here on our web server and we got a shot. So that's it for the user part already. Um, let's go to the home folder here. User is called James. And here we go. This is the user flag. This wasn't too hard. Um, you just have to know this backdoor, just Google the version string, right? I know when the box came out, there were a few less hits on Google, so it made it a bit trickier. So let's do a sudo dash L here, see if we can execute any command. And indeed, we can execute knife, which um, comes with the chef tool suit, which is basically a configuration management tool, a bit similar to yeah, tools like Ansible, Salt, Puppet, um, these kind of tools, right? Um, let's just call knife and see if there's anything interesting we could call here. And in fact, there are many things that sound interesting. There's so many commands here that could potentially be used for privilege escalation, but this one seems to be the most interesting, right? Knife exec, and then it wants some script. That sounds pretty good for us. So let's try that. Let's just do sudo knife exec without giving it a script. And then we go into this um, editor where we can just enter our script. And actually the script is Ruby, so you have to basically write some Ruby code here, right? The most easy thing we can probably do is just call system again. And then we just give bash the security bit. Just like that, that should be good. And it should already have been executed. Um, let's just get that reverse shell again here and then run bash minus p and we are root. that's it here we go we got the root flag and this is already it for the box pretty short one thanks for watching and see you next week